Hello friends and welcome back to another Max Raid Event Den update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Welcome to the channel and the video. Hope you enjoy it. Remember, if you do, drop a like on the video and uh, also subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, update news and competitive Pokemon, all sorts of stuff and goodies. Um, but last night, the 27th of April, the previous Max Den event raids did finish. So the, the G Max Caparaja, the Duraludon, Garbodor, G Max Charizard, they all ended last night. And we got the announcement of some new Pokemon that we'll be able to catch for the start of our May event. Now, interesting thing is, first thing we'll do is hop over to Cerebi.net, a trusted resource. The link will be down in the description as always. Um, we you can see here normally the events run for an entire month. But this event only runs from April the 28th, which is today, uh, until May the 11th. So we don't have a really long period with these events, which is really interesting because one of the things I did think coming into this specific event for this month is that we'll probably get some really exclusive Pokemon uh, that we've not had before because we've been through and we've cycled through already all of the G Max Pokemon that we've you know had access to in Sword and Shield we've had all those events already and this is pretty much the last month that we'll have available to us before the DLC is released next month. So you kind of expect some special events to be held this month. And I think the indication, because we've not had anything special this month, unfortunately nothing too special. We've got some really good Pokemon, but nothing too special, nothing exclusive. But with this event ending on the 11th of May, as you can see here, I do think that we'll probably get some mid-month events that are... Pretty exciting. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you uh, hit the bell notification for any updates because as soon as they do drop, I will cover those events. Um, but we might even get a couple this month. You know, we only normally get one, if any. Um, so maybe we get a couple this month uh, or even more. Maybe. Let's see. I, th I mean, my biggest hope would be hidden ability starter Pokemon would be incredible and the hidden ability fossil Pokemon. Now, they're the, my two. Uh, events that I would love to see them do but who knows do leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like to see you, like your what is your perfect event raid Pokemon uh, for 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 the month of May before we get into the DC I'd love to hear so drop a comment down below let me know but getting into the event as we stand right now as you can see 28th to the 11th of May it runs uh, we're starting off in sword as usual you can see we've got a Lavatar, Rotom, Heat the Drillbird, Cottony, Dreepy, and Togepi. So there is a common theme here. These are all top tier Pokemon in the competitive VGC scene, which is the the official competitive scene for Pokemon. Uh, all top tier Pokemon in there. So it's a quite it's a nice theme, especially it's something I play, and I'm sure a lot of you as well play as well. So uh, being able to catch these Pokemon and maybe. Uh, cycle around for some of the shiny variants it might be a bit easier than hatching these pokemon so a uh, nice opportunity but you can see the one star if you're early on in your game you'll have access to these ones there's no real special items here items are pretty standard um for what you're going to be catching nothing exclusive anywhere then the two star you've got uh Pupitar. you've got the rotom heat again the drill bear cottony draclock and togetic this is sword remember then we're moving on to the more interesting uh, three star raids, which is the Tyranitar now, the Rotom Heat again, the Excadrill, Whimsicott, Dragapult, and Togekiss. So all the, the final evolution forms of these Pokemon. Uh, getting down to the four star again, just the same set of Pokemon. And then the five star, we're getting the Tyranitar, Rotom Heat, Excadrill, Whimsicott, Dragapult, and Togekiss. So it's a really nice opportunity, like I say, to um, to farm for potentially shiny Pokemon of these these this collection that we've got. Then moving down onto Shield. We're pretty much getting the exact same Pokemon flat across the board except the Rotom is the only thing that's changed here we're getting a Rotom wash in shield rather than heat which you would get in sword uh, so the one star raids again Lavatar, Rotom wash the Drillbur, Cottony, Dragger, Droopy or uh, and the the Togekiss uh, the Togepi uh, two star is the Pupitar, Rotom, Drillbur, Cottony, Draclock this time and the Togetek and then the three star is the the Tyranitar, Rotom wash 
Excadrill, Whimsicott, Dragapult, and Togekiss, and then obviously onto the four and then the five star raids. So, as I say, the only difference really between the two versions is the Rotom Wash and the Rotom Heat, but it doesn't even matter because you can change the Rotom form anywhere as long as you've got the items to do that, which you can pick up in game anyway. So, um, how do we access these Pokemon? As always, we're just going to do the standard stuff just in case there is any new bees out there and they've just started and they don't know how to update their wild area news. So what we want to do is head over to our mystery gift from our menu screen and then head down to this option here, which is get wild area news. And it'll just connect to the internet. And uh, once it has connected, it will update all of your dens and uh, you'll be able to go out and start catching these Pokemon. So I actually had a den set up, which was a Copperaja right here. So this should have changed now to one of the new ones. And there we go, we got Tyranitar. One of my all time favorite Pokemon ever in Pokemon. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna need something a little bit better to uh, handle this with. What have we got? There's my, I'm sure I've got a Conk with on like level 100. Uh, where are you Conk? Where are you? That's what we need. There we are, there he is. And uh, we'll not invite, we'll just hop straight into it. And uh, I think I have a heavy ball. I'm gonna say I might have a heavy ball. I might not as well, but heavy ball, Tyranitar. I could use my beast ball. Could I risk my beast ball for this? I would risk it. Tyranitar is one of my favorite Pokemon, although I'm probably better off keeping it for trying to get a shiny. Tyranitar and a, a shiny. I've already got a shiny Dragapult, so I'm all right there. But shiny Rotom would be nice, and definitely a shiny Excadrill. Uh, so I'll probably be doing a lot of farming around these Pokemon. We'll just go for the Max Knuckle into the Titar. It's four times weak to fighting, so we should be able to take it down pretty easily. I mean, it is a five-star raid, so it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. But it shouldn't be too hard. But you're going to have a lot of fun getting these Pokemon. We've not got a massive window to actually catch them. Obviously, only until the 11th of May. So make sure you do take advantage of this event while it is running. Get these Pokemon while you can. Um, bulk out and beast out your team with these Pokemon. Uh, they're very good in VGC. Obviously, all top tier Pokemon. They've been used throughout this season. So make sure to grab some and uh, strengthen your squads while you can. And uh, look forward to the next event because I think we will. I think we will probably get something good. You know, we might even get Melmetal. That would be incredible. It was in the game data. So, you know, um, there is a good possibility that that could happen as well. So we'll catch this Tyranitar and then we'll be right back to close up the episode. Okay, so we beat the Tyranitar finally. It was pretty tough to take down, actually. Obviously, the five star and Tyranitar is generally quite a decent Pokemon, so the Dynamax isn't the easiest Pokemon. Let's see what we've got ball wise. We've got a level ball, that might be quite nice. Um, hmm. But the Dusk Ball is obviously just a standard. I do want to catch this, it'd be nice to have. See what its IVs are and what items we grab for this Pokemon before we wrap up. But remember that we. We've only got a limited period, like a couple of weeks now, to actually make use of this event. So, like I said earlier on in this episode, make sure you do take this opportunity to get these Pokemon while they are available. It just makes them a lot easier. Wow. Okay. That's really disappointing. We didn't get the Tyranitar. Okay. Okay, so they're not super easy to catch, um, but I'm sure you will all have better luck than me. Uh, we get XL Candy, Large Candy, Dynamax Candy, Wiki Berry tomato berry so they're the at least we get some sort of decent uh ev reducing berry as well throat drop dog slayer nasty plot and taunt so a nice selection of dark time moves there to go along with its dark typing that about wraps up everything that i wanted to cover in this video my friends thank you so much for tuning in i hope you have a lot of fun with these brand new events that are kicking off remember it is until the 11th of may keep an eye out on the channel for more updates when and if we get any more events this month which i'm i would pretty much put money on that we will so um keep an eye out for those and i will cover them as soon as we get them so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye